Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we're gonna do a spring themed video. Before we get into the video, let's do a little check-in. How are you guys? What have you been up to lately and how have you been feeling? Because I feel like in January I felt really good. It was kind of this new year, new me as always. I stayed hydrated, I drank loads of juices, I ate healthy, I journaled a lot and I was walking a lot. My step count on average was about 11,000 steps every day, which is a lot for me personally. Then in February I kind of lost track over all of that. I got really stressed out, didn't really go out, I didn't go for walks anymore, I didn't drink a lot of water anymore either which is not good for you but February was just not it for me and I think that was part of the reason why I got sick right after the exams and I was sick for about one week. Anyway, in one of my last videos I was talking about changing your perspective on life and appreciating the little things again and I feel like now in March I really want to stabilize that because spring is coming up and I'm so excited for spring. The weather is getting better, you can go outside with less layers on and overall I'm just in a really good mood. That is why I want to film this video and take you guys with me to start off fresh into spring. As you can see, I had a shower. I woke up at 8.30 this morning and I already had my breakfast. The sun is shining. I'm so excited for today, so let's get started. My room is nice and clean I want to show you a few things I went to Ikea and I bought this lamp I've had that lamp for years and years now so I'm really happy that I got myself a new one then I don't know if you ever noticed in one of my videos but I have this board up on my wall and um, you can clip different kind of setups into that and I never got them so today was the day I got this little tray for it and then a little container that looks like this and two clips and then the last thing I got which I'm really proud of is this beautiful candle I mean look at this it's actually the scent of jasmine which is my favorite scent and now let's open these up and put them onto my board these are the clips there it is you guys really excited for this tray there we go now to my proud moment i'm gonna open this lamp and build it up and see what it looks like i'm so excited for this Look at this, it's so bright, I love the color, everything about this is perfect. First thing I got is this top, I got it from Monkey and I think it's really pretty. Not a lot of spring vibes, but I think it's a really cute top and it looks really elegant. Then I went to H&M and I got this t-shirt, I think it's really pretty, I love the color and I thought it would be great for the gym. In H&M I also saw this flannel, it was really nice. A must have for spring, I think. So yeah, I didn't have one yet. I only have one in white. And in Pull and Bear, I got myself this hoodie. It has this print on the back. It's just good for the days when it gets a little bit chilly again, when it's a little windy and I still wanna go outside. Kind of those in between days weather-wise. Another thing I bought, but this was a while ago, are some posters. And um, I think I bought these on Valentine's Day for myself because self-love is more important than any other love out there. Anyway, I'm gonna show you these posters. They're gorgeous. Starting off, 
with this one. I love purple, so that's very nice. We have this one, also very beautiful. It is gorgeous. And we have another one because why not? It's so big. I want to hang these up, obviously. We have three frames. I think I don't have one for this one. Let's see what fits and what doesn't fit. And yeah, it's a basic white frame. We have to take this off. Ooh, that was nice. Ha! There we go. Ta-da! I was thinking about hanging it up here. Not central because I want to hang the other two like this, you know? Put this down. Let's see smaller frames i already took out the cardboard to just put them in this is the first one that is also very pretty now we have this one it's also very pretty so in this clip i started hanging up the posters and i was so proud of myself um yeah only to later realize that everything was completely crooked <laughs> i think for now it'll do i want this one to be a little lower so that it's more central with these two and i also think that the whole thing has to move a little bit so that it's more central with the bed apart from that okay um i have to say the colors are great the posts are beautiful and my room looks a lot better later on my dad came in and helped me um these are the results definitely much better buying store-bought flowers and then just arranging them how I like them. You guys, we just took the best pictures ever with these flowers. And I'm the best photographer Obviously. ever, ever. Always. Everything was spot on perfect. I'm just, it was a full workout, you guys. When you're taking pictures with your friend, always support each other. Always tell them what they're doing wrong. Tell them that what they could do better, what will look better. Yes. Always do that. Good morning, guys. It is currently 11 a.m. And I put these beautiful flowers into this vase yesterday. They look so beautiful. Let me put this down to talk to you guys. Buying new clothes, going out with friends, buying flowers, taking pictures, spring cleaning is a huge part of getting ready for spring. But another thing I wanna do with you guys is a little vision board because I do that for every season. Let's go on Pinterest as always because this is my number one source of finding inspiration for whatever season, for whatever occasion. For anything really i actually already have a springboard I do have a few pictures in here that i'm gonna take for now my spring goals for this year are definitely to go to the gym more often just to work out more and to go out for loads of walks so we're going to take this one as well you know i love when the trees are blooming when the flowers are coming out and rainy days of course are also a part of spring and let's see some self-care of course we I've been kind of neglecting my reading, but I started reading before the coffee gets cold and I feel like I'm kind of coming back into reading again, which I'm very proud of. Oh yeah, I would love to have a picnic with my girls. My birthday is actually in May, so I was planning on doing a little picnic with my girls and then maybe going out at night. I also want to focus more on Pilates because I started this course and I think it's really fun. Um, but unfortunately, it's going to end. After that, I was thinking about looking for another course and signing up for that. Walking aesthetic, there we go. Also want to focus on my nutrition a little bit more. Eat more healthy, eat more whole foods, you know, just maybe cut up my fruits and veggies before putting them into the fridge so that as soon as I want to have a quick snack, I can just grab them. Driving around with my girls, another thing I love doing. Spending more time in nature.
now that I have that done, I set it as my wallpaper. I want to know what your personal goals for spring are. So comment down below if you have any spring goals that you want to achieve this year. Okay, you guys, I'm done. I didn't really film because there were a lot of people and I don't know, I just feel comfortable filming when there are that many people around me. And also, I don't want them to think that I filmed them. I'm done, I'm sweating, I'm gonna go home now. I feel really good.